What's up, savages? Today, it is time to talk a little bit about some fucking Smite. Now, I know most of you have no idea what the hell this game is, or a PC game for that matter, so we're going to basically cover the basics. Now, before we get into it, this is a complete noob's guide to everything, and I want to give a big shout out to my buddy who we're going to be spectating here. He's taking on bots, but Hi Res Adonis, his buddy, or my buddy, excuse me, his buddy of a buddy of a buddy. There's a bunch of buddies here, but Kevin actually used to be a professional player, now works on the production team here for Smite, aka High Res Studios. He basically makes me look pretty. Uh, he decided to do this for me, so big shout out to him. Make sure you follow him. His name's going to be in the description. So anyways, moving forward. So, Smite is a massive online battle arena, which is similar to Dota and League of Legends, but there's one big difference here between what Smite is and those other games. Now, we take a third person HUD view. Your actual person is not this view. You actually have a reticle, so it kind of feels like a shooter. But the big thing here is that means that every single ability and basic attack is actually a skill shot. So there's a lot of skill involved in this game and you can actually really see it actually shine. So we're gonna real quick go ahead and take over how this might work. So High Res Adonis here is going to be Thor. He's one of the first champions you actually are able to pie. He's one of the free ones in the first rotation, and he's a fucking badass. If you're coming from League of Legends, he's a lot like Garen. He's got a spin, which we're going to he see here in just one second, uh, assuming he actually got that ability. Yep, see, there you go. There's a the little fucking spin. And right now, he's jungling. So before we get into that, we're just going to go ahead and hit the breakdown. So keep in mind, these are bots. So these guys are literally fucking trash. I'm talking trashkins. So you have your duo lane, and you have your solo lane, which is going to be on the far right, and your mid lane. So in the, in the duo lane, it's actually called the longer lane because, as you can tell, the distance between these two towers is a lot longer than on the other side where Solo is. So, normally, in the duo lane, you have a support and you have a hunter. So, technically, it's called a guardian, but it doesn't really matter, and you can call it an ADC if you want, but avoid Twitch chat saying ADC because they'll fucking eat you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, now, in the mid lane is going to be your mages, right? This is where you're going to see, like, Poseidon and Kukuklan and Ra and all these, like, fucking badass gods that we've seen, you know, throughout, like, Greek mythology and all the other ones that, basically, whichever one they come up with. Now, the jungle works a little bit different than we see in League of Legends. Now, in, like, League of Legends, you know, you're, like, sitting in the fucking jungle for, like, ages and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, this guy overextended, I'm going to go ahead and hop in here. Well, that's not really how it works in this game. Maybe in the later stages, yes, but at the beginning, experience is so important that you actually go and you sit in lane with your either solo lane or your mid lane here, as uh, we're going to see Kevin pick up yet another kill. So experience is really, really important. Some characters are just insane with how much damage they can do uh, as things progress or how much health they get. Ymir, for example, gets 105 health per level. So you always want to stay on top of your levels at all times, aka your experience. Now, here's something that's a little bit different. So in League of Legends or Dota, you know, you have your buffs. Well, in this game, we have our buffs as well, but we have a speed buff, which is what you're going to be seeing here, which gives you increased amount of speed. You have your damage buff, which is going to be right, we'll go to theirs. This is going to be your damage buff, aka your red buff. And then you have your mana buff, which is basically your blue buff. Now, there's two other things here that are very, very important. You have your harpies. Now, harpies are these weird-looking fucking birds that kind of hang out in the middle. And they, the mid harpies right here, okay, they spawn every three minutes. They actually give you the most experience on the map right like out of like all the buffs and everything these little fucking birds that are sitting here doing nothing actually give you the most experience and they spawn every three minutes so it's really really important that you stay on top of that now moving forward now this is where the shit gets cool so the gold fury is going to basically be like your dragon from league of legends or whatever the fuck from dota i don't know dota i'm not going to pretend i do this spawns every five minutes and this is really where we see some of our first major engagements and team fights and you always want to make sure you control the gold fury now the final piece it doesn't spawn until the 10 minute mark is actually the fire giant okay now the fire giant spawns right in here he's basically fucking satan 
right? His job is to fuck you up, and this whole area turns into, like, fucking lava, and it's crazy as shit. So it's really, really cool, but it's super important because when you get the fire giant... Obviously, you get that initial buff, but on top of that, you actually do more damage to towers and everything else, so you can really start to see a team control the game just by acquiring the fire giant. So it's really, really big. Now, at the most simplistic level possible, your job, your job in Smite is to take down... And we're actually... We're, we'll go to the free cam here. So this is what... This is actually what you see as a player okay this is the scenery we take it off because it makes it better for the spectating experience here because our spectator mode kicks ass your job though if you are blue team is to take down all the towers you don't even have to take down all the towers but in a nutshell your job would be to take down tier one tier two then you got to take down the phoenix which is this fucking bird that spits fire at you it's really fucking annoying uh, you take that down, and then, last but certainly not least, you end with this big bitch. You gotta kill this fucking thing. And he gets weaker with the more turrets that are down, as well as phoenixes. So, if you take down every turret, and you take down the phoenixes, he's a lot easier to kill. Now, other than that, we're gonna go ahead and just watch a little bit of gameplay here, as, uh... We, you can basically get a feel for it. So Thor, like I said, one of the first of five champions you can play. The other ones you can play Guan Yu, Ni, Ra, and Ymir. So Ymir is going to be this fucking blue guy. He's a guardian. He's he's okay to play. He's, he's not, like, the most fun. He has a wall. He's got a freeze. He's got some other shit. Uh, Poseidon is not a free one, but he's also really, really cool to play. That alligator who's starting to see a decent amount of play here in competitive play is actually called Sobek. He's really, really, really fun. And now, so this is Guan Yu. Guan Yu is going to be another free one to play. He's kind of like the one from Dynasty Warriors, right? He's not, he's not Lu Bu, but he's, he's still a fucking badass. So uh, if you guys have any other questions, make sure you just leave it in the comments. Other than that, keep in mind this game is free to play. I'm going to link it in the description. Make sure to check this game out because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, and that is one huge fucking baby. As always, I love you, but I don't love you. Take it easy.